You know, everyone's looking at transports and saying, oh, goodness, the brakes are being hit on the American economy. Is that true or is there something else that is bringing that index down? No, oh, no, there's a number of things. You know, everybody talks about the transports leading the uh leading the world, leading the economy, leading the uh, Dow, uh, for good reason. It's not that the transport stocks themselves are somehow omniscient or preescient. It's that they move the economy. They move what uh, becomes uh, the GDP months later, weeks later, quarters later. Uh, right now, we're seeing uh, terrible drops. You know, tariffs are terrible taxes. Uh, right now, Asia Pacific Air Freight, our proprietary index right now, is down 9.5%. Uh, you tell me how that's re representative of a growing economy. It's not. Okay, but there's other things, too, Don, without getting too much in the weeds. As I under listen, the, the move to deepening the harbors in Savannah and Charleston has changed a lot because now you got these massive ships coming through the Panama Canal, which means they don't need to go to Los Angeles or Long Beach, which means they don't need to put more stuff on the rails. That's one of the reasons, as I understand it, that rail, some of the rail data has been weak, not because the American economy is collapsing, but simply because we've changed our supply chain locations. What do you think? Well, I, the, I understand that, and, there, and certainly uh, it's one of those things like economists will always say, you know, well, all of the things being equal, which all of the things are never equal, so it's kind of a ridiculous statement. But the point being, uh, we are seeing lumber shipments down, uh, we're seeing auto shipments down, we're seeing truck shipments down. Um, you, across the board, as you walk through the different parts of the economy, um, you, you see dislocation in moving of ports, but when you're seeing down 1.5%, 2% here, in every single segment, chemical shipments are down uh, three over three percent, and and lo and behold, ISM is down as a well. Uh, best predictor of ISM we've ever found is chemical shipments, because in order to manufacture something, you have to consume chemicals. Uh, and the bottom line is, is, is that it has nothing to do with the ports. So chemicals are down, which leads you to believe yes, that's one reason ISM manufacturing was weak. So in order to kind of gauge right. where the economy is going. Steve Leisman should be looking at chemical shipments. He should be. He should be. It's, it's our favorite indicator. You know, I always like looking at leading economic indicators. Many people will talk about unemployment this, unemployment that. I, I really don't pay that much attention to unemployment. It's a lagging economic indicator. Because why? Because the last thing you get around to doing is firing people. You don't want to lay people off. It's a horrible experience, and you don't want to do it. So uh, you don't do it until you have to do it. And the same thing happens on the way the, on the way up. You're looking around for the right person. It takes time to hire people. Unemployment's a lagging indicator. So let's look at leading indicators like the yep. ISM, and when you find those, you say, well, okay, if that's a leading indicator, then what predicts the leading indicator? Chemical shipments predicts uh, uh, the, the ISM in the United States. When I look at around the world, uh, uh, European air freight predicts the European ISM. And the, and the European PMI. Yeah. When, uh, when I look at uh, the uh, Asia Pacific air freight, it predicts semiconductors. And that's, last time I checked, a very important part of our economy. Any day we can learn something is a great day. And today we did look at chemical shipments because they may be a leading, leading indicator. By the way, Don, congratulations on your Cardinals. They lit it up in the first inning last night. Thank so you. I'm, surprised, Thank you. Go I'm cards. surprised you look as good as you do, Don. We'll see you again soon.